everyone and welcome to what I prepped today. So today I ran over to the It's a Buck store. I generally don't go to that store because I kind of feel they come across as a dollar store like Dollar Tree, but they are far and away not a dollar store. They started out as a dollar store and wanted to expand, so they got a lot of other things in. Some of them rather pricey, others okay. Uh, I got these matches, which I'm going to go back for more of these matches. I didn't want to light one in the store to test them, but they work nice. Um, three stars, safety matches, made in Sweden, pretty cool. And I think there are 240 sticks in there, it says approximately. And that was only 50 cents. So for me, that's a stock up. Uh, I am going to have to tape the edges, though, because they're not sealed. That's a much better deal on matches than the diamond matches, which are 300 in a box for $3. So this is a, a, a stock up price for me. I got these two items. I got the marinade injector for $1, and I only bought this because I wanted to see if the edge there fits my Sawyer filter. I use my Sawyer water filter to actually filter um, vacuum pump oil for my Harvest Right freeze dryer. So I have to backwash it, and the syringe for that broke. The rubber stayed inside and came uh, apart from the plunger. I bought this hose clamp set, and it's made in China. They're not stainless steel, but they're just going to stay in the part tool backpack that I keep in the back, uh, in the bed of my truck. Just in case I need one in a pinch, uh, it'll be there. I got the heavy-duty scrubber. And I like these ones because they have the handle and they actually get into the little um, bumps that are on the bottom of the bathtub. The no-slip bumps that are, you know, anyway, sometimes hard to get the bath bomb coloring out of when your grandson changes your bathtub seven different colors. I got the scouring pads. I will actually cut some of these in half and store them in a Tupperware container underneath my kitchen sink. I use these to wipe out my cast iron skillet. I don't scour it with that. I just find that these work much nicer um, to be uh, than the uh, dishcloths do for the for that purpose of, of wiping out the skillet. The food items I bought, I only bought two different things, and I only bought two things because this store has a lot of name brands, but some of them have been expired for over a year. I guess that's why they're a dollar, but I don't really need to buy food that's been already expired for a whole year. I can, you know, pay full price for it and let it expire on its own in my kitchen. Um... These things were close to expir expiring. The pickles uh, expire in April uh, on the 9th. That uh, This is March 1st. I don't think we'll have a problem finishing two jars of garlic bite pickles. And we got this Grey Poupon, 16 ounce, uh, for a dollar also, and it expires in July. Uh, if you watch the video that I made for this store, you will see that they also had a uh, Grey Poupon 8 ounce that was already expired, and it was the same price as the 16 ounce that hadn't expired, so who would buy the small one? Anyway, that's what we got there. Uh, I think um, I got a, another thing, but no. Uh, did I? Hmm. Oh, well. Your benefit to my bad memory is that you get a short video instead of a long one. So tell me in the comments, what did you prep today?